we have to give what we want to get. Sounds simple enough, but if you really think about it, if you want more love in your life, you have to be more loving. If you want intellectual stimulation, you have to provide some type of intellectual stimulation to somebody else. If you want affection, you have to give affection. It's the same thing in our personal lives, in business, and everything. Um, if we want something, we have to give of ourselves. If I want to be close to somebody, I have to make the effort to be close to somebody. And there's a lot of great examples of that. We all have them in our own lives. We have them in, <laughs> well, my dogs are all around here. Uh, I want to be close with my dogs, so I have to spend some time with them. So they get to know me better. We get to know our little nuances with each other, and that creates a better relationship between me and my dogs. It's a pretty simple uh, idea, but it's very true. Um, what well, my father is another good example. I'm sure you can relate. Is I want to have a closer relationship with my father. Uh, it's unlikely that he's going to uh, call me as often as I would uh, like. So I just make the effort to call him a little bit more often now. And what in turn, what has that done? It has uh, made it where he calls me uh, more often now. Uh, so. I'm giving in order to get and not in a preconceived notion of like that's, you know, I'm doing something nefarious or bad I, uh, to create positive outcomes. You have to exude a positive nature that <laughs> goes with everything. It goes with our personal desires and our personal uh, goals in life. Like I have, I'm going to use myself as a, an example a few times here and stay with me because it's very relevant. It, I want to be a better writer. I've been writing in my journal since I was about 15, 16 years old. And when I go back and look at them and review some of my uh, life, some of the ones that I haven't uh, uh, burned, I've had a couple of journal burn parties because I didn't think it was anybody's business. So, <laughs> But... Uh, I want to be able to write better for myself, not for anybody else. And in doing that, well, I have to give of myself. I have to speak from the heart. I have to uh, take lessons from other people who are good writers. So if we want to be a good physician, we want to be a good attorney, we want to be a good farmer, we want to learn permaculture, we want to learn how to make the soil better. We want to take better care of these cows that are over here. I'm sure you can see them. Uh, we have to give of ourselves in order to get. And in business, creating relationships with people, well, it's with everything. Not everybody is going to uh, reciprocate that back to you. So there is going to be some bleed off where it just does, it didn't matter what you did. But in all of the relationships that we forge over the years, the ones that we attempt to maintain and, and genuinely from our heart give to those relationships something of value and conversation and, and friendship, well, not all of them last. I have many business relationships with the friends that I've attempted to cultivate uh, over the years as a young man that have ultimately just faded away. And then many of them, have thrived and given me opportunities I would have never otherwise had in my life. And same way with our personal relationships with our spouses or with our uh, family members or our, our sons or daughters. I have learned over the years, and I, I think you can find some value in this, is that if we want to better communicate with our spouse, well, then we have to learn how to articulate our thoughts better. We have to practice it. It's like with any muscle. We have to exercise it. So we have to give of ourselves. We have to be vulnerable to the fact that, well, maybe I might not express myself clearly and exactly the first couple of goes around, but I'll get better at it. And if my spouse is willing to listen to me and uh, they are open and, and want to reciprocate, 
then that builds and falter, uh, fosters and nourishes a positive relationship. Same way between fathers and sons. Uh, same way with uh, my adopted boys that are now scattered around the globe. Is There has to be conscious maintenance and conscious uh, sincerity coming from us. Not preaching at them, not saying, oh, you must take this advice. I don't think you're doing this right. No, you, you, that, that just turns people off. So when we give of our heart, when we give of our soul and our time and our resources to the people that we love, more often than not, that ends up coming back to us many times over. And it creates a, a system that, that starts to become its own thing. And, and when the parties inside of that give and take are wanting to give and take, then it flourishes and continues to flourish and becomes a wonderful experience for everybody. So the big takeaway from today being out here on the on the farm before everybody gets here on our Sunday afternoon of discussion, discussing these types of things is we have to give. We have to give sincerely. We have to give in a way that is not, um, oh, I'm only doing this so I can benefit myself. Um, there is an element to that, of course, but it's a small element. It's just one of the small pieces to the, to the larger puzzle. We have a more enriched life whenever I stay in contact with my adopted boys around the world. Uh, we have uh, better relationships with my uh, business friends and clients and people that come here to get married, which is a lot, is to work on those relationships, to maintain uh, the level of frankness and truthfulness that builds trust and, and honor and good reputations. Uh, and in order to do that, we must be constantly giving. And then our giving bucket is always being replenished. And so if you are in the local area, you're in East Texas or Northwest Louisiana, come out and join us on Sunday, every Sunday at 1.30. We have these kind of conversations. We try to figure out how to be better people. We try to figure out uh, what this life is and what the next one is going to bring and, and have all the philosophical discussions that most people just don't really uh, discuss. And I think they're vital to our personal growth and no matter what our stations are in life, we are all human. As Kennedy says, we all breathe the same air. And it is important that we learn how to give in order to receive. So thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.